Hi guys, welcome back to the episode of Ebook Vlogs. It seems like it's damn long since I've seen this statement. Yes. And it's damn long since I've seen you. It's damn long since we are paired up together and go out and eat all the delicious food items. Lah. But then the most important thing is, right, before we continue, oh, please ah, compare the photo right. of us, the last ebook vlogs and now. But yes, Bolin, I need yes. excited or not? Of course, the very last, excited. Very excited. The last yeah. time we ate Chinese New Food, but yes. this time it's... Chocolate! Wow, uh, are you a chocolate lover though? I am, but I think debatable because I like milk chocolate and below. Oh, I like dark chocolate and above. It is like that good. Yes. We got both to represent. Alright, alright. By the way, I just want to say, uh, today you see my face like red red. Uh, because yesterday I went to do a shoot. Oh, uh, I bungee jump yesterday time. you got high. <laughs> I got low, man. I mean, I got high, then I jumped down and got low. <laughs> Okay, don't worry. I let you go on a sugar and chocolate high. Okay? Yes, let's please. Go, let's go, please. Let's go. Hey, how we go? How we go? Okay, your car, your car. I never drive. Place where I at is chocolate heaven. Wow, chocolate, chocolate heaven. heaven. Well, just now I smell her. Wow, wow, I'm like, oh heaven. Right, like yeah. oh thin eh. Like uh, all this like you see, it's so high quality and it's it is made here. It, mm. the, from from the beans uh, to the cracking uh, the roasting uh, until this this final product uh. So yeah, Lumel chocolate. They are the first homegrown like bean to bar store concept. Right now, right in front of us, we mm. have uh, all this artisan chocolate. Uh. Artisan yes. means it's art. Okay, let's try. All right, so uh, we have four different types of chocolate here. Yeah. So the first one is the Papua New Guinea chocolate. It is 70% dark chocolate and it is honey French toast hazelnut. Oh my gosh, it sounds like two kinds of flavors that I would love already. Wow, mm. wow. Mmm. Wow. Mm. Mm. Very rich, luxurious, mm. and smooth. Eh? I just want to say, number one thing is that the difference from this chocolate and other cheaper chocolates eh, is that this one, right, I don't know why it melts very fast. This one is really thin enough. I think whatever they did to the chocolate, it is just nice for this kind of tasting. I actually do taste that honeyed note at the end of yes, the chocolate. Yes, yes. The next one is Dominican Republic. It's yes. 70 percent dark chocolate yep. and the notes are Kyoho grape and candied plum. Mm. It is different eh, mm. immediately. I realized right, mm. the difference in flavor, oh, it's very subtle. But obvious enough, because I could taste it. This mm. one right, it's, it's like the chocolate is here and it, the layer of uh, fruity sweetness, mm. it's just right underneath. Alright, so next one is actually the chocolate bean from Peru, Yuka Yali. Mm. And then it's so still 70% dark chocolate but it has raisins and dried cherries. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, this one very fast. Wow. Really got raisins taste and I'm not even done with the chocolates. Uh. Mm. This one right, the smell of the, the flavour of the raisins right, it came straight away. I don't like raisins but I like how it added a different dimension to this chocolate. Alright. You get that raisin flavour but you also get like the sweetness, like just when you eat an actual raisin. Okay. Alright, the last one is actually the chocolate bean from Cambodia, Bunong. And 70% dark chocolate but this one is actually lychee and malt. Wow, the malt. Let it me, is let... damn good then. Okay, you know Maltesers? This one is like Atas Maltesers, I think. Okay, but I feel like it will be an insult saying that this is like Maltesers, but you really get that malty flavour. The lychee is really very, very, very subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think the taste of the malt, right, yeah. is so strong. Yeah. Like when it melts instant, it's like, hey, malt, hey, whoa! Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Now we have a platter of tarts and to put it simply, Yin, which is this one, it's a chocolate tart. Midori is a pistachio chocolate tart and tart self is a salted caramel chocolate tart. The outer crust right, is actually all the way covering the bottom and the side. Wait, wait, wait. Wow! Mm. Wow! I tell you, mm. this is one of the best tarts. <laughs> Holy 
<laughs> because of that multi-layer texture feel, right, and that outer crust, right, mm. it still retains the feel of you, that you are eating a tart. But the chocolatey taste, oh, it's like so multi-dimensional. So you have the mousse, right, then mm. you have the creamy ganache. Mm. Then on top, you have that small glaze, which is a bit jelly-ish, right? Correct, correct. Plus that crunchy, crunchy crumble. That whole... Why? <laughs> Why got but? <laughs> this is my first time saying something about this tart, yeah, guys. <laughs> But oh, I say I would say that I'm not a big fan of their chocolate heart. I think it's a bit too crumbly for me. Ah, I need it a bit more solid. Come, next one is the Midori. Midori. I love pistachio, so I have very high expectations for this one. Oh, whoa! Mm. So in the middle, right, it's still the dark chocolate ganache, and then you on the top, you have that mousse. Okay, but I have a very big fear. What fear? I'm very scared that the chocolate will overpower my favorite pistachio taste. Right. Wow. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah, the power over power. Yeah, but it, I feel like it makes the chocolate taste even more amazing. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the chocolate is so much more prof uh, profound here. I cannot really taste the pistachio, but I think the pistachio flavor adds to the chocolate and makes it a very complete chocolate tart. Okay, I next one, tart cell. <laughs> I'm trying to tart cell. <laughs> Ta <-da>. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Okay, digestive everywhere. Oh, there's digestive in the tart itself. Alright, so. So, so it's actually right here. You can see it's the crumbles of the digestive biscuits at the bottom and also on the top. Mmm! Mmm! Okay, this one I would say is still on the basic chocolate mm. tart scheme, mm. but now it has a bit of a salted caramel flavor. And I think the digestive biscuit, it adds a bit of like a... a layer. Yeah, another texture. The cream though, the cream I think it adds a... Uh, a milky note at the very end. In summary? <laughs> yes, I feel like the Midori is my favourite. I think it's like the creamiest, right. the nuttiest chocolate tart. For me, I will just get the in. Oh, Straight up, chocolate. Because uh. I like my chocolate to be very dark, very, very the chocolatey, very, very the gelat. Oh, this is the one. Uh. So right now we are here at this beautiful place. You know what this place is called? I don't know. This place is called the Dark Gallery. So basically why they are called the Dark Gallery is because most of their specialty items are actually dark chocolate related. But they do have other chocolates as well. So just like the one before, this is also a local brand. But I think something that is unique in this shop right, yes. is that they have an ever-running ever running? hat. There. Where? Where at the counter there, can you see? Oh, wow, this one like the, 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 the Willy really Wonka eh? Yeah, yeah, China and Chocolate Factory. Yeah. Okay, so I think the first thing that we're going to try is something you would like because Why, eh? it's an 80% chocolate ice cream. 80%? Not enough. 88% chocolate sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Although it is 88% dark chocolate, right? But with the addition of the, the crumbs mm. and it being towards the ice cold state, right? I think it's very, very doable. Even you see for you, right? You don't really uh, like dark chocolate, but mm. it's still sweet enough. Yeah. It lets you feel all the goodness of dark chocolate while not being too unpleasant for mm. those that don't like the bitter taste. There's nuts, chocolate shavings, and chocolate crumble. So it adds more texture and also like sweetness and nuttiness from the topping. So over here, we have a set of the 75%. The first one here is a 75% chocolate brownie uh -huh. and over here is a 75% mocha. I'm just gonna go already. Go away. Cheers! Cheers. Mm. Mm. Hey. Okay. Very special. It doesn't taste what it look, how it looks like. Mm. At first, when he showed me the first section, I was like, Mmm, doesn't look like my kind of brownie because I'm a fudgy brownie kind of girl. I was expecting it to be dry and cakey, which is the kind of brownie I don't like, but it's moist. So if you want to have that melting in your mouth sensation like you have from a chocolate bar, and also want to try brownie, this right here is the combination of that both. Okay, next up is ice chocolate. Okay, when I don't want to drink caffeine, right? Yeah. I will just get ice chocolate at any cafe. Wow. Refreshing mm. eh. The aroma of the chocolate is very, very, very strong. For this drink, I think it's like 30% milk, 70% like chocolate liquid. Oh, oh ice wow. cream! 
Wow. And macarons. Then the first one uh, is actually the most intense one. Pure 88% the dark chocolate ice cream. So the whole thing is 88%, not mm. just the sauce. Uh. Yes. So the second one is actually 75% dark chocolate. Yeah. So less intense but still intense enough. Actually the last one is actually not ice cream. What is it? Eh? It's sorbet. Still ice cream. Uh. Whoa. It's intense. This one, I feel like I'm surprised. Because when you say 88%, right, I would think that it will be super bitter, but it's not, eh? I like the fact that they also added the candied almond. So if you are too if it's too intense for you, take this, ah. Uh, it with your candied almond here, sure. Okay, I'm gonna try a 75% one since I like milk chocolate. Mmm. How's it? I feel like different percentage doesn't mean like different level of bitterness. No, All right. It's like different flavor. So this one is like bitter sweet. This one I feel like has a more honeyed taste to it. Right, let's try the sorbet. <laughs> okay, sorbet. Mm. Whoa, so it's 100% chocolate. <laughs> I think because for sorbet, you can't hide behind like the creaminess and the milkiness. Right. The chocolate is 10 times more intense. Meanwhile... Intense wow, this one very intense. A bit gelat for me. <laughs> Whoa. Because you eat so many chocolate things, eh? Oh, I'm flying, I'm flying. <laughs> wow, this one is sorbet. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Wow. <laughs> I can't get it. Wow. Can you stop doing that at all, please? Not like that, but it's like that. Hello. <laughs> This one is actually the old grey chocolate and then the next one is Simia. Very, Very dark chocolate. Mm. 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 Hey, I love this macaroon. Eh. For my one, right? Because this is actually a very dark chocolate version of mm. the, uh, the flavor, very dark chocolate flavor for the macaron. Mm. It still has that sweetness of a macro, which is good. Some, I, I thought that, wow, macaron sweet bar. Yeah, is it dark chocolate? Very bitter one. No, no but, uh. but the dark chocolate flavor is still there. Well, are you ready? We still got one more place. <laughs> Oh, but you still don't ask you to pace yourself. Eat, 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 eat. It's called Mr. Bucket. It is really cool because yes, we are within a HDB estate. Yes, it's at Singming uh, near the Upper Thompson area. Yeah. So for Mr. Bucket, they are well known for their bonbons. Right. Bonbons actually like a chocolate shell, and inside it's filled with goodies. Just uh, very curious. Just now I go and ask uh, like, why why call Mr. Bucket? You know why? Uh? Why? Because uh, you know Charlie and the chocolate factory. <laughs> you know the Charlie, the chocolate factory, the, the, the Mr. Charlie. Uh. The name surname is Bucket. Uh. Oh, not that. Uh. That's really Wonka one. Uh. Right. That's two different characters, right? Don't know why you bloody hell! Okay, so we have three bonbon here. The first one is a 64% punch core single origin chocolate. The next one, what is this? So this looks like oh. a, some some really really fantastic artwork. This one is the double soy caramel soy? bonbon. Soy? Like soya sauce. Soy. Soya sauce in soya the chocolate. Sauce. So they do it with like soya sauce brand. It's Wong Wo Hing. So basically, right. that's, that's what they are trying to do. Like, sustainability, local. sustainability. Then like, yeah, hashtag support local. You right. Know. This market okay. is also a local brand. So Bolin, what hey, about wait, the uh, next one? Where is it? Tell us. This one is the Calamari. Ah. <laughs> Bolin. Calamari is surprised. It surprised me now. Yeah. So they shake the hand uh, uh -huh. with this company, local company called Straits Preserve. Oh. And they, have, they, they specialize in making marmalade. So let's try the first one, which is the... Tancho. I like this place over the other two. <laughs> oh my gosh! This bonbon is built different mm. because the outer shell is just like a chocolate bar. But the inside, on the inside, you don't even need to wait for it to melt. It just like turns into liquid in your mouth. The thickness of the outer crust, mm. it's thin enough that it's not so gelat. The texture is very very different. Mm. So it's multi-dimensional. Okay, as someone who uh, prefers milk chocolate over yes. dark chocolate, I would yeah. say that this one is nicely in between milk and dark. So it's like a good first course or a good step if you want to try artisanal dark chocolate. Alright. Mmm! Okay, I think this is the most this is the most fun chocolate we have had today. Mm. Cause you beat into it and then everything just drips away. So yeah. The salted caramel taste, right, and the flavor, right? It's very strong. Mmm. Soy sauce caramel. Not salted caramel. Sorry, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Please give <keep> it in. <laughs> Funny <enough. laughs> 
So the soy caramel, right? The taste and the smell of it is very, very strong. Mm. Yeah, but it is not what you would think when you hear the word dark soy. I think this one is a nice balance because the saltiness is a bit more rounded. Wow. Mm. Whoa. I feel it. Whoa. I feel it. What's going on? Got popping candy inside la. Mm. Now I know why la cost the price really. Mm. Because I think for this type, right, it's very refreshing because chocolate, the sweetness from chocolate can sometimes be quite overwhelming. So when you're eating something like this, right, you have like the marmalade, which is a bit sourish while still maintaining a bit of the sweetness from the calamansi. And then they add in that extra texture from the popping candy. Which this is one is exceptionally textural. Alright. And then, wow, it's really, really hard to say something good about a chocolate la, when you eat chocolate the whole day <laughs> until that thing. So you can eat sour chocolate? Yes. Because we have two more chocolates in front of us. I refresh already. <laughs> and they are chocolate bucks. Wow. We have a macadamia one and we Ooh. have a bit more on a vegan friendly side. It has like chia seeds, coconuts, and Which one? Um, this one? sunflower, sunflower seeds. Mm. One of the reasons why I really love macadamia nut is because right, it has this very unique nutty flavour from mm. it. So it matches up with this chocolate very well. I think what they did right over here yes. is that I think they salted their macadamia. It's a nice ending. Like it's not just macadamia and chocolate. All right. There is the nice saltiness to it. Yeah. Which I really appreciate. It's really artisanal. It really is the difference in the details. Uh. So Alrighty. Because right, this one I'm actually quite excited for it. Because it has my favorite seeds. Oh. Wow. This one it feels like a very light chocolatey snack. Not even nutty. Eh. It's more towards CD. My mom will love it. Vegan friendly. Like, mm. Yeah. Feels like you can just sit down and eat and not feel guilty. Eh. The video doesn't end here because we have one more thing to try. What? This one! Oh! Okay, it's yeah. 72% from Ooh. the Philippines. And the notes to look out for is smoky and nutty. Oh. Oh my goodness! What the? Okay, I recommend buying this to share with your friends. Ooh. This one is really like the thickest hot chocolate I've ever tasted. Because it is still a 72% dark chocolate, you mm. know. So it has that smoky bitterness. The texture is good. Drink it warm. And then I think they nailed the sweetness also very well. So what do you think about this place, Mr. Bucket? I feel that it's actually a place where they are very dedicated to all the chocolates that they are making. Because you know that whatever you are paying for, it is worth every cent. Okay, firstly, y'all, oh, because I'm a simple guy, so whenever I crave for chocolate, right, I've never ever thought of going to an artisan chocolate bar or whatever, you know? Mm. I just go to NTUC lah. But then today, ah, my eye is the open. <laughs> so I actually appreciated today's vlog because it, there was a learning point also, like how to enjoy chocolate. Yes. What's so special about single origin? All right. Why is it so expensive? So my favorite food item will be the tarts at Le Mion. One of the best, really. When I say best, ah, you don't have to believe me, but you you can go and try it yourself lah. I feel like out of the three, I had the most fun at Mr. Bucket right. because it's a very unique, very interesting experience because all their flavours are different. So I really ex enjoyed the whole experience today. Uh. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too but uh, one note is that uh, next time, uh, do not eat chocolate so fast and too much lah. You must, uh, <laughs> you know, control a bit lah. So should wow. we end this vlog with a quote? A quote lah, okay. Now, this quote lah is by Bolin Chen. Sometimes expensive but most of the time it's worth it. Chocolate is the best. <laughs> So thank you for watching this episode of Ebook Vlogs. If you like bowling talenting, please comment in the comment section down below. Hey, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and of course, uh, please click there to watch more other videos and then don't forget to like, share, and also to subscribe. That's right. Bye-bye. <laughs>